Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Idea Spot, and today we are going to be adding an Instagram feed to a WordPress website. So, um, for this demonstration, I've got a fashion blog set up called Style Soul, and the first thing you will want to do is go to your dashboard and plugins, add a new plugin. And so, if you search for Instagram feed plugins, you'll come up with a lot of different options and by far the most popular one is this Smash Balloon social photo feed, and that's got almost a million installations. So click install now, wait for that to install. Once that's installed, we click activate, and when that activates, you'll get a Instagram feed plugin menu on your dashboard there. We want to connect an Instagram account. This is where um, you'll need to put in your username and password for Instagram. So if you've already logged on, you can skip that step, but log into your Instagram account there. Uh, you'll have to authorize Instagram for your WordPress site. And there you go. So the next step is to customize the feed. Let's just click customize. Um, you can change some of the layout options on here. Number of columns is a nice one to change. I've chosen three. Um, save your changes by clicking there. You can leave this as uh, default if you like. Now display your feed. To display your feed, all you've got to do is copy this short code, click copy, and we're going to put that into our page. So I've set up a blank page called our Instagram. Let's have a look. Like I said, it is just a blank page. Let's click edit page, and we're going to insert that code onto the page. So all we do is add a block, and under widgets, you've got one called short code and put that short code in, click update. And we will have our Instagram feed all set up. So that's all there is to it. Uh, I'll show you how to do this in Elementor as well if you're using the Elementor page builder. So to do that, we go to a page that's been built in Elementor, click edit with Elementor. Let's open that in a new window. And it's exactly the same idea. All we need is to add a new section and we drag in a short code section that is here. There we go. And the short code, same thing. Instagram feed square brackets, hit update. And that will load our Instagram feed on there. Let's have a look at our main page now. We've got our Instagram feed all set up. So that's how you do that in Elementor. So very, very easy. Doesn't matter if you're using um, the default WordPress editor or Elementor. Um, just a few clicks and you're done. So if that was helpful, make sure you click like and subscribe and I'll be back soon with more videos. Thank you and see you next time.